Danny Wright, like his brother Steve, comes from the great Ed Beckley Stadium uh, gymnasium in Warrington. He's quite a few great boys, including Dynamite Kid, of course. And we have David. And he's going to be a class, class wrestler. Just a question of how heavy he gets. He's 12 stone one at the moment, right? Logan has a slight advantage of five pounds over it today. enjoying this part very much. They're very even indeed. There's nothing to between them really. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Logan trying his best to make it a four-nil win on a solo box for his team, the Jets. But Wright has probably got the right ideas here. Control completed this time. The slam, the followed on cross press, thrown off easily. Oh, lovely height move by Logan. A beautiful cross press followed it there. Oh, Burton Wright really is showing well here. And he releases immediately. No argument. Tucks his lace in, makes sure that he can't do any damage. Just a minute left in the third. Obviously, Logan thought he was going for a posting, preparing to take the crash in the corner, and he gets the shoulder wrench instead. <laughs> nice turn. Haven't seen one of those from him yet. Very good. Half a minute to go. Takes him beautifully on his head. Cross press. Two. Only a turn. He's only got just about uh, five seconds to go. Well, the Logan arm was in his way on the, as the headbutt came in there, and no chance. There you see them both. Bernie Wright on the left from Warrington, and Steve Logan of the Jets team on the right. Which do you think looks most confident at this moment? Bernie Wright, not a worry in the world at the moment. Neither of them, in fact. Second way, round four. Round four. Three to go. No score. Bernie Wright. Yes. Yes. on his head again. And even the referee couldn't resist a, a round of applause there. <laughs> and Logan laughed as he realized he's going to have a tricky job throwing this guy. And again, he takes it on his head. Oh, great drop kick. Right foot caught well. Oh, well, this looks very much to me like it's going to be the only win for the ring battlers in the solo events. Oh, nice. Nice. Taking his man down. He's put up a fall here in the folding press. Right. Yes, he has. Lovely move. In just 50 seconds of round four, the first pinfall to Bernie Wright for the ring battle. Even his opponent 
appreciated that Kim congratulated him and even the referee I think you very seldom see Jeff K actually applauding that moment. seconds away round five round five two to go and can Steve Logan come back for the Jets and equalize now in his final two rounds if he wants to win this bout he's got to get the equalizer in this fifth round to give him a chance for the winner in the second Uh, arm turn posting which didn't reach the post at all but uh, again he takes it on his head and, uh, look of amazement with a grin on uh, Logan's face as he sees that happening time again <laughs> no missed it missed the first time but got a second chance with his hands minutes to go in the fifth and a good spread now if he moves back of course then Logan just follows him <laughs> unless he can distract the attention <laughs> and he's returned the comfort <laughs> well, he tries it again and right just waiting for him to put those feet apart and gets the same leg spread again Agreeing to break on that one. Nobody getting any further with that. Mistimed it. And mistimed his run over the back, too. Right grin from Bernie Wright this time. <laughs> he tried something that it didn't quite work, but the referee, Jeff K, liked it very much again, as you say. Just a minute left now in the fifth. Look, we've got to get the equalizer here in this final minute. Or have no chance except by means of a knockout. Or of course a disqualification which is highly unlikely to win this part. Well, he's got the figure four leg lock on, okay, but he won't get him a pinfall unless he can turn his man, and he won't hardly get a submission from that. <laughs> Referee Jeff K really enjoying this contest. Just his own style when he's a well-weight wrestler. Oh, yes, nicely over the top. And Bernie Wright almost getting a chance for a 2-0 win there. Just five seconds to go. And right. Great applause from the obviously a load of grapple fans here in Burnley. And Bernie Wright wrapped himself in that little ball there to avoid any further attack. No limbs around for Logan to grab. Still leading by one full vanilla over this man, Steve Logan, and one round ago. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. So now, can Logan do it? He can only equalize. He cannot win now. The same, unless, of course, he produces a spectacular, unexpected knockout, which I very much doubt. And it looks more likely to me that Bernard Wright will get a 2 0 win here, or a 1 0 win. He's up, right over the top, and out. But no problem. He's back. Take his back over the top. Proving it's okay. Oh, hell. He walked into that one, Bernie. And almost caught. Logan there. Almost caught him on the rebound. Taking him over nicely. Double leg Nelson there. Holding press at Logan. And he's got those arms. He's got the arms. And this could be it. This is equalizer. And Logan gets the equalizer. It's short.